Welcome to another episode of House of Cards. We are back with another Monday Mailbag. That's right. Episode 24, we're going to go through last week's mail pickups for you to see what I was snatching up and um, give you, of course, like always, the insights into what I paid and hopefully, you know, give you guys some good point of reference for um, what I uh, am looking at out there in the wild world. So anyways, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay. Get this guy open. Oh, it's our it's our boy Dion. <laughs> Still loves this card. So good. So so good. As long as a football card, he's got a baseball hat. There's so much, you know, he's alluding to so many things in this in this photo. So awesome card. Glad I got another one of these. This is gonna go into my uh, my uh, submission for the uh, pre uh, eighty nine football for PSA quarterly special. So another nice Dion rookie card here. Add this to the stack. This is a. Uh, it's like a brick of cocaine or something. <laughs> I don't know, that, was, that was probably inappropriate, but it just felt a very odd, uh, <laughs> odd wrapping for a, uh, a sports card. <laughs> Pablo Escobar over here. All right. Tell you. More entertainment value in opening mail days than there is in any other aspect. <laughs> I mean, look at this is all of this for one card. I mean, I'm not complaining. I said I said it a million times. I'm not complaining because I appreciate. I really do. I really appreciate people mailing things safely. But there's definitely an extent to uh, <laughs> how uh, how safe it is. All right. Well, it is a cool card, so at least there's that. Um, this is the Derek Jeter Atomic Refractor Bowman Best. Um, so this is the the preview. So there are two different Atomic Refractors um, in this in this year for this card, and there's one that's the preview, and there's one that is um, just the regular one. So. To be 100% honest with you guys, I don't really know the difference between um, what that really means. I'm guessing, and this is totally a guess, and I'll probably correct myself on screen here, but I'm assuming the preview came in a like a set before the actual set came out, like as a preview card, kind of like how they do, uh, you know, they pre preview optic in the Donruss, and they do stuff like that, like in the modern cards. So I'm assuming that's what it is, but. I'll have to double check, but anyways, the uh, preview cards have like a little bit of a different kind of sparkle to it as far as what I was able to see. They have more sort of that uh, fast break sort of like disco, uh, yeah, I'm just using like modern terms, so hopefully that makes more sense to you guys, but um, you can kind of see it there. It's very sparkly. Um, really cool card though. I mean, how cool is this going to look in a slab? Just gleaming, just shining. So anyways, I really like this card a lot. Very cool uh, Jeter card. You know, this is definitely his, uh, my best card of his so far. I got a couple of his like, you know, flagship rookies, but they're not, you know, the kind of these special, uh, you know, parallels and stuff. So um, super excited to have this in my set. And yeah, awesome. All right. Let's get the standard white envelopes out of the way. I didn't know there was an acronym for that, but there is. All right, so. Oh, another one. As you guys know, my Michael Irvin's part of my PSA submission, so depending what that little 
crust is down there. Um, looks pretty good. Top to bottom is a little bit off, but it should be okay. Yeah. Anyways, great Michael Irvin there. Oh, I have another white envelope somewhere. Oh. We'll come back to it. in the garbage can I found it all right <laughs> let's see what we got here oh yeah very cool card so this is uh, Bowman's best this is the normal refractor there's also an atomic refractor I think if you guys saw oh there it is I'll kind of just show you um, this is actually the atomic refractor um, preview there's another one that's just the regular one, and then uh, then just the regular refractor. So um, super cool set. I really like uh, Bowman's Best, especially you know in the '90s they did some really sweet stuff for for cards. But um, yeah, this is a, a dope Griffey. Just kind of add this in. Any refractor, you know, any any kind of limited short print numbered card from the '90s of like big Hall of Fame, you know, highly sought after players. I'm just scooping up as many of those as I can I just feel like you know they're they're all very uh limited as it is you know couple that with you know them being around for 30 plus you know or ish years um they're just gonna get harder and harder to find and you know I think that's just part of the game it's you know it's like you know the way we think about vintage you know you're thinking about whatever 1970 whatever till you know 1800s whatever there's so much you know like kind of you know lure about them now because there's just not that many to be found especially ones in good condition you know i mean it's like good luck <laughs> so uh, you know again it doesn't seem like the 90s were that long ago but it's you know almost 30 years ago so i mean if you think about it like that you know it's been a while so anyways moving on so this is a 19 uh 89 score god this is it's like someone just like use that to like blow their nose <laughs> 1980 score. This is from the supplemental set. This is the Bo Jackson. Um, this one is kind of not not as iconic as the black and white one that just has Bo on the back, but still a cool card. I think the purple actually looks pretty cool. Um, awesome. Anyways, um, yeah, I thought this one just looked good. It looks pretty sharp. Centering looks pretty solid. So uh, another one to send in on that PSA quarterly special. So that's a cool one. And those things are pretty dirt cheap. You can find those, I mean, less than 10 bucks most of the time. Sometimes they'll be a, a tad higher if there's, you know, really, really in fine condition, but um, for the most part, you can get those pretty cheap. All right, this one took a while to get in, but I'm glad I finally got here. So this set was, this set's pretty cool. Again, another Bowman's Best. I like Bowman's Best a lot. I think they just are kind of a underrated cool set. But this is the, the Shaquille O'Neal um, Bowman's Best Shots. So this one is actually a refractor. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but you can kind of see it there, the little rainbow, little rainbow going on. Um, but cool, an acetate car so you can see through it, right? Um, again, early Shaquille O'Neal, early-ish, you know, it's still like kind of his early Laker days, but you know, he's been in the league for a few years at this point, but um, just a kind of a cool card overall. I thought it looked really, really slick. The pictures were clean, the price was right. So again, 90s, big stars, refractors, anything that's rare, it's gonna have some value. So I'm definitely was happy to get that. And this one feels a little more substantial. So we might have something interesting in here. One of these uh, fold over ordeals. I don't even know what's going on here. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, you guys are gonna crack up when you see the price I paid for this. Um, it's kind of actually sent these really fast. So, I, I just saw this like weird lot and it had a bunch of these kind of like Bo Jackson all inserts, but then there was 
the um, rookie cards kind of, uh, his top rookie card that was kind of part of the insert or part of the lot. And you know, that card alone goes for you know, at least 10 or 15 bucks. Yeah, here we go. So <laughs> it had that and then it just had a bunch a bunch of these inserts, which, you know, I don't really care much about these inserts because they're pretty much, you know, don't hold much value, but, you know, so it's a five card lot. And then you got this and this card looks in decent shape. I'll have to take it out and inspect it, but I mean, it's definitely, uh, it's not terrible. So anyways, uh, <laughs> for what I paid for this, I mean, this is a pretty sweet lot and especially considering, you know, these alone, you know, fetch 15, 20 bucks right now, depending on the condition, of course. But anyways, I thought that was pretty funny. So again, you, 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 you dig around enough on eBay, man. I mean, there are deer, there's deals to be found everywhere. You just gotta be diligent and you just gotta, you know, kind of keep your uh, eyes open and, you know, set your alerts and, you know, make sure you are always kind of just you know, peeking at what's what's popped up on auction or you know, what's something that's ending soon that you might be able to get a good deal on. Um, it's, yeah, it's just really just about being uh, constantly on that dang thing. I swear that app, my, I gotta look at like my phone usage for my eBay app, it's gotta be astronomical. Cause I swear to God, I feel like I check that more than I check like Instagram or anything else nowadays. I feel like I'm on eBay, like probably 75% of the time I'm on my phone which, you know, it's a little bit of an issue, but you know, again, as long as it's uh, fruitful and uh, will bring positive things to me, then hey, it is, it's all good. Okay, so Kyle Lewis, again, my PC, but you know, also I think is a great investment because he's a stud. So um, just been kind of randomly picking up more of his kind of, of uh, just, you know, different, uh, parallels for his tops rookie cards this is the top chrome this is the pink so this is not numbered or anything nothing crazy but um you know just a cool parallel i think this will look really nice in a slab so i'm um, just trying to scoop up as many of these as possible because um you know we're in that kind of really down season for baseball right now since it's you know five six months before you see anything baseball related going on so i think it's now you know now it's the time everyone's hyper focused on basketball you know football isn't about to be ready to go into full on playoff mode so everyone's gonna be super focused on that so you know i mean baseball even soccer right now even the champions league is going on and stuff but i just feel like there's too much distraction right now um with basketball and football so i think it's a great time all right so here's one i'm really excited about because this one and if you saw my last mail day you saw i got another one of these but this one was actually graded now this company gem elite is no longer in business so this is a uh, you know kind of another <laughs> another story of the you know foregone uh grading companies but um this card looked pretty clean and i got it for a decent price not as cheap as i got the other one in the screw down because you're always going to pay a, a small premium for graded cards even if it's from a, a crappy grading company um there's just still the you know the kind of aura of it hey it's been graded so at least you kind of have that peace of mind right it's not going to be like complete trash but this you know again it's hard to tell with these companies because again they don't obviously them they don't scrutinize as much as psa but centering on this card's great and the surface on the front is is good and that those are the two main issues with this card the centering and then you know the the snowing print defects that happen on the front however what i did catch in the listing which i actually asked the guy about was the um there's like a small little like stain right there I don't know if you guys can see that but i think that's gonna probably knock it down a grade but you know <laughs> i mean these are the grades that they gave it yeah, i'm like uh yeah, not not quite what's gonna pan out there so you know if i got an eight or a nine on this i'd be really really happy because you know the price i paid for it even if it gets a an eight it'll still comp out uh, for what i paid so i mean again it's kind of one of those like you know no no loose sort of situations unless of course the car just has like some serious damage that i just not seen um but i think for what i can tell it's not bad so again that stain's probably the only like major defect that i can pick up on it so if that's the case and it comes back a nine i mean oh my god like that's great i'll do awesome on this card but anyway comes back an eight it's still a good card it's still uh a, a hard to find a hard to find one definitely in decent shape so 
So look at this huge, I have no clue. I didn't order anything big, so. I'm hoping it's sports cards related and not something else because that would be weird, but. Um. <laughs> wow, okay. There's a giant. <laughs> my, if this is what I think it is, this is gonna be hilarious. It is. I don't even know. So I bought this supplemental set from this guy. These are minis? What the hell? I don't even know what this is. This might have just been a completely missed buy by me, but anyways. This guy had a this the the Bo Jackson supplemental listed. He has the whole set. And it actually was the whole the whole set, and I didn't realize it. I thought it was just the Bo Jackson, because that's really the only like kind of valuable card in this set. But I guess it was the whole set. And this guy just literally sent me his his nine uh, nine card pages here, full of this set. And for the price it paid, I feel kind of bad because it probably cost more for him to ship this than that he actually got paid for this. And the guy was really nice because it was actually missing one of the cards, and he actually like contacted me and was like, oh, hey, man, one of the cards is missing. And I was like, yeah, no worries, dude. Like, it's cool. I'm, I didn't want to tell him, like, I was only going after the Bo Jackson, but um, <laughs> so he sent me the whole set. So he wrote me a note saying one of the, the Frank Wright is missing. He's going to ship it. He actually messaged me today saying he got it and he's going to send it to me. So, I mean, this guy's gonna get a great review. But anyways, uh, this is the 89 score supplemental set. This is the complete set. So I mean, for the price I got this for, it's kind of crazy. But yeah, I mean, there's there's not too many uh, high value cards in this set. It's just kind of a, you know, one of those kind of throw in sets end of the year or, you know, part way. But yeah, there's the Bo Jackson. So that was the card I was actually pretty much paid for this whole thing. But you know, hey, yeah, whatever. I got the whole set now, so that's cool. Um, so again, it's just one of those things where sometimes you're on eBay and you find something and you end up getting a lot more than what you assume. Hey, there's the fridge. That's cool. Anyways, uh, so yeah. And there's some rookies in here. Yeah. I remember some of these guys. Again, nobody, uh, nobody really, you know, super crazy. So really, I mean, you know, a couple of these guys, I mean, I recognize their names, but I don't think they're like Hall of Famers or anything. But the Bo Jackson was really what I was in it for, <laughs> the trivia cards. Anyways, well, hey, I'll have a whole set minus the Bo, because I'll probably grade that one, but you know, there's nothing wrong with that. All right. And my last oh, one from this batch is actually the, should be the second wave um, Aoki Tops baseball set. Yep, very cool. Um, so I'm actually gonna rip this right now because as you might've seen, I had a whole nother video um, dedicated to the uh, first one I got. So I'm gonna make sure this is second wave. It doesn't really say, does it? Huh. Well, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll find out. <laughs> it's, it looks like here's the here's the first wave box. Yeah, I don't. I really don't know. Okay. Well, I guess they got it figured out. So I mean, we'll find out here in five seconds. They sent me the first wave again. But yeah, I like these cards. I mean, I think they uh, they did a really good job with them, and you know, people may you know have their feelings about Steve Aoki and whatnot. But you know, I think the more kind of however you want to call them, you know, he's bringing in a different audience, which is good because you know, sports cards are meant to be, you know, or we want it to be, you know, um, more mainstream more adopted you know because then it just brings more attention and more eyeballs more buyers more sellers i mean it just helps the industry as a whole so people that 
get mad about other people coming into the hobby, I think are just a little, a little misguided. All right. So again, every uh, wave has its own set and then you get one parallel. So you get your first card in the set. So that's Mookie, so that's cool. So my parallel is Chris Bryant. Yeah, well, again, I've been kind of striking out on the parallels. <laughs> it's okay. Ron Acuna, Eloy, Pete Alonzo. And there's Chris Bryant, so you get the, the base also. Max Scherzer, LeMay Hugh, Gilato, Skrimski, DeGrom, Tim Anderson, Piazza, Ricky, Sandberg, Bernie Williams, Garcia Parra, Johnny Bench, Donnie Baseball, David Ortiz, and then you get your rookies, which is cool. So I got Jordan in this one, Zach Gallen, Goslin, Isan Diaz, Nick Solak, and Dylan C. So um, this one wasn't definitely, I think Wave 2 is probably, as far as the rookies goes, is probably the lightest. Um, the first one, you know, you had uh, you had some other better rookies. I mean, Jordan's decent. I mean, some of these guys are decent, but they're just, you know, as far as the, um, you know, the hobby goes, these aren't the ones that everyone's chasing. So um, there's definitely going to be better ones in the next two waves. But um, anyways, um, pretty cool. So now I got two out of the four waves of the Aoki cards. And again, for what I paid for these, like 24 bucks, 24.99, I mean, it's really hard to go wrong there, so. All right, we got through it. Thanks again for tuning in. If you haven't already, please be awesome if you would like the video and subscribe if you are not. And if you want to continue to get future, you know, notifications of when these videos drop, the subscription is the best way to do that. So hit the bell icon down there and that will notify you each time I drop a new video. So look forward to your Monday mailbags every Monday. And of course, we'll have other videos throughout the week as well. So until next time, peace.